Pika. Come on. You want to be in the camera? She doesn't want to be in the camera. I think she wants to go outside because the weather is pretty awesome. You want to go outside? Pika, Pika. You want to go outside? Believe me, if I start talking to the camera now, she wants to go outside. It's Sunday and I am a little bit tired because we had a D&D &D session last night, Dungeons and Dragons, and it became... It wasn't that late, but also the time, the clock, the summertime changed. The summertime, we went into the summertime. We switched to summertime, which basically means that we're having an hour less. So at 2 a.m. last night, it was 3 a.m. So basically, I had an hour less sleep which resulted into me she she wants to get outside and I'm still a little bit tired but that's okay because it's Sunday and it's going to be a relaxed day because yesterday I I don't think I'm going to walk because yesterday I chopped some woods at friends of mine Spent some time in the garden to basically make the garden post-operation proof so I can sit in my backyard and just enjoy my backyard. And now today I'm just going to fix my uh, television and um, make sure that I'm able to play on my Nintendo and my PlayStation with one button without having to do all the stuff with cables after the surgery. So I'm basically trying to fix my house and make it post-surgery proof. I already placed all the, the groceries I have a level down so I don't need to reach up. So I'm basically going through the house to check and see what do I need in the upcoming four weeks and what is above my reach. Something like that. charge cool okay so while I'm waiting for the Nintendo to charge uh, let me show you a little bit how I organize my food now which is I'm pretty proud of that see everything food is now here so I can basically just grab everything I need and um, I don't need to reach above my head there's a lot of tea a lot of Quick things, quick fix, food, etc. Protein, uh, just a lot of stuff. Half a mouth, oatmeal, uh, bars, chocolate milk, everything. Uh, there's one thing though, I did this while uh, everything else was in the dishwasher. So I'm gonna need to find a new place for my pots and pans because they're all in the dishwasher yet still let me see but i think here is some space so we can do that so yeah preparations preparations there's one thing though that i'm i didn't really have a solution for yet and that's how i'm going to carry my camera because i'm not allowed to to do this so i think i'm gonna have to be creative with angles like these where I'm just like on the couch and having the camera over there but how I'm going to place that I'm like I feel like I'm going to be like a, a, a t-rex to, to place the camera like the I don't know what we're gonna figure something out I guess but in my reaction probably you can tell that I'm a little bit excited and I'm a little bit nervous about the whole thing um, excited because I'm really excited about the part after the operation I guess when I'm completely healed but I'm really uh, nervous about the recovery and everything and the operation itself so I'm just <laughs> trying to uh, get my mind on something else like for example yesterday it was very nice to be able to chop some roots and just to to do some things that will distract me and on days like these I'm just trying to f yeah 
make it so that it will be as easy as possible to recover um, and on the other hand trying to find things that will distract me a little bit so I might do some programming in the afternoon I'm working on some JavaScript things and I've never worked never really worked with JavaScript before and I'm really enjoying it so I'm I think I'm just going to follow some basic tutorials just to get my mind off of something yeah yeah <laughs> so that yeah um, my Nintendo is still charging so I'm kind of waiting for that so uh, gonna sit outside with a cup of coffee or something now here's why I should never go alone to a tech store because I went in to buy a keyboard and I got home with a keyboard a Nintendo switch controller and a magic mouse not the most expensive one I did buy the more cheaper one the 2021 version and I think the main difference is, is that this one is white and the other one was black. So, and I don't really care. Um, yeah, and I bought a Nintendo Switch controller because this would be nicer in my hands. Because the, the other controller, well, basically you put two sides of the Nintendo Switch together and then you have some sort of a controller, which isn't very nice. So I thought it would be a good idea to buy uh, a better controller, obviously. And I bought the Logitech. MX keys, not the Mac version because I also want to use it on PC and this is like a combination. Now the reason why I didn't buy a gaming keyboard was because I am just a casual gamer and more of a programmer and editor so I thought this would be fast enough for me and I really like the touch of the keys. They're very subtle and they don't make a lot of noise and most of the gaming keyboards do so I basically tried every one of them and I this one felt like the best one. So it's not a gaming keyboard, but I think it will do fine for a casual gamer like me. And I obviously also have a Nintendo and a PlayStation, so enough gaming to do when I'm recovering. So let's install this. This is actually very clean. It looks like it's uh, aluminum, but it's actually plastic, but it's it's solid, so it's, it's pretty nice. It's actually pretty easy because I just set up my keyboard for my Mac, and now I'm going to set up my keyboard for my uh, PC. And it's basically just a, s a switch of a button. You can press this button to go to one, this to two, and you can even connect another device. Very decent. Uh, right, so let's see if I can connect this as well. Bluetooth device. Uh, add a Bluetooth device. Mm -mm. Very new device. Bluetooth. Yes, the MX keys. Enter this pin on your Mac. So 020341. Enter. And there we go. We got the, the thing connected. This is still a very decent keyboard. Uh, the Black Widow, but for me it's just too small and it's, it's still too clicky for some reason. I kind of like the, the the soft touch of this one. Okay, cool. Now we got the magic map. Oh, yeah, we're back up. I had to change the battery. The downside, I think, of this mouse is that the charger is on the bottom. I I I don't really know how they how they how they even think of this. That this was a good idea to to have the charging point there. But it's just a very nice mouse. You, you can do a lot of mouse things with it. Now it's just, you can, you can scroll and I really like that. As me being left-handed, this is just a mouse, which is very decent. So here we have the new setup and I believe I can remove this little box right now. Um, the only thing I am still kind of need to get used to is uh, in Final Cut Pro, when I am uh, zooming in the timeline, I can do that easily on my trackpad like this. But with the Magic Mouse, it's not possible. So I'm in, I believe it's not possible. So I need to do uh, Command Plus and Minus to zoom in and out. But I can go through the timeline like this, and it's very convenient. So um, yeah, I hope this will. Um, help improve my product, product. I hope this will help improve my workflow.
I hope this will help improve my work flow. Besides that, it's just a very nice, um, very nice looking keyboard. Um, I'm gonna see if Pika wants to come inside because she's over there sitting. So basically someone advised me to get this to, um, I don't know, if I'm uncomfortable, just go and can sit like this, or I don't know if it will uh, help me in some way, but I ordered it so I it might come in handy. Um, if I feel uncomfortable, which is going to happen, I have this to make it maybe a little bit more comfortable, I don't know. Alright, so I don't know if this is going to help, but I normally sleep on my stomach and on my chest and that's not possible for the upcoming two weeks, I guess. Um, I don't know. They say I can sleep in whatever position I want, but I can imagine that it's not very comfortable lying on my chest the first few weeks. So I invested in some nice pillows. Uh, this is one of them and may maybe, I don't know, it's, it has this soft foam thing uh, it's cool which is going to help I guess and I believe it has the shape of my neck so I can be comfortable on my back with some other pillows and uh, yeah it's basically going to see what is comfortable and what not I will probably get uncomfortable a lot of times uh, like I said I am a stomach chest sleeper I never sleep on my back, so that's going to be an experience in the upcoming few weeks. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to make myself as, as, as um, comfortable as possible, I guess. So we're going to see if it's going to work. I'm going to try it the upcoming few days to see if it's, if it's basically a pillow uh, which is somewhat comfortable for me. Because I'm, I'm very picky when it comes to pillows. I don't like feathers, I don't like it when it is like squeegee-ish too much. Uh, yeah, so it's it's gonna have to see. And that's also basically what I've been up to the past few days. I haven't been vlogging, editing a lot because I'm just preparing for the operation. And I'm going through a list of things I need to do, I need to have, I need to buy and just some practical stuff in the house. You saw some footage about that. Like for example, setting up my food and setting up my TV properly that I'm not having difficulties with that when I'm not able to do anything and walking around like a T-Rex. There are some few things I need to do. I need to make the guest room ready because someone's coming over to sleep the first night. So I have some help if needed and I need to fix my light in the bathroom because I can't reach that when I'm post-surgery because the lightning switch, the lighting switch is too high. So I need to, I just bought some basic rope to, to fix that. Um, and that's, um, yeah, that, that's a little bit of the things I've been up to. And just, by doing the practical stuff, I think I am mentally preparing as well. Um, or I'm pushing it away, but I'm quite comfortable now. I'm actually quite ready, uh, but I, maybe that will change in the upcoming days when it gets closer to the operation date. But I think I'm well prepared and uh, ready to do this. So with that said, I'm going to sign off for a bit and I'll see you in the next video.